Hello, my name is Candice and welcome to Candy Creations. And in today's video, I'm going to recreate an Easter project that I did last year. And if you want to see that project, I'll have it linked down below. But this year, I want to make it a little more durable because it's something I want to stock in my shop. Um, because I'm selling it to people, I want to make sure that it's durable enough that they can use it year after year. So come along with me and see how I recreate this project. Using my Silhouette Cameo, I'm cutting out a template of the bunny so that I can use this as my guide going forward to transfer easily onto my material that I want to cut out. So the material I decided to use was hardboard and it's very sturdy yet it's light and affordable. So I'm cutting out all my bunny pieces on this. You can see the hands and the entire body of the bunny. After I did this, I needed to have something that would act as the basket or replace the tin the bunny was holding. So I then decided to cut out a basket using the same material. And this required a lot of measurements, but afterwards I did transfer it onto a bristol board as well to make it easy for multiple transfers. Once all the pieces were cut out, I then painted the bunny front and back and then I also painted the feet and the hands as well. Now because the hardboard is so thin, I'm not able to nail or screw it together. So what I did was I used my wood glue, which is pretty strong itself. And I just used tape to kind of hold it together until the wood glue can dry. to give the front of the basket a little more character so I'm using these palette sticks and I'm just placing them on the tape to sort of hold it together because this is how I want to place it on the basket and then I'm going to use the basket as a template to trace it out and then I know exactly where to cut the palette sticks before I stick them onto the basket.
So while the primer on the basket is drying, I moved on to doing the details of the bunny itself. And I could have painted in the ears and the feet of the bunny, but I decided it's always fun to have a little texture in there. So I decided to use some pink felt and again using my cutting machine, I did cut out some templates. As you see there, the bristle board on the table and I traced it out onto the felt and then I'm just going to cut it out and stick it in the respective places. back to the baskets and painting them in some pastel colors and in hindsight I should have painted the whole basket white before I decided to paint the color on because it would have just saved me a few layers of um, this paint but it did turn out in the end and the front of the basket I wanted to paint just the palette sticks in the color and leave the spaces in between white so it gives you a little more color and depth in the front of the basket. Because the back of the hardboard has a texture, even when I painted the inside of the basket, it still wasn't like I still wasn't really comfortable like, leaving it exposed so I wanted to create like a basket liner made from brown cotton so that's what you see me cutting out here I did trace out the pattern on a piece of paper first and then um, drawing it over on the brown cotton so it makes it easier for me to do multiple liners
the purpose of the basket liner is strictly decorative so I didn't see the need to sew this so I used my all-purpose glue to assemble this together this off I thought it would look really cute to have some name tags so I used the same hardboard material and cut out some tags in the shape of Easter eggs and then I just drilled a hole at the top and I painted this in some really fun colors everyone i hope you enjoy this video as much as i enjoyed making it i thank you very much for watching everybody god bless and bye for now